Okay, boys, we are recording. Um, uh, hello, amigos and amigas. Uh, I don't want to be. I said amigas. I'm gonna be sexist. Oh god, this is gonna be fucking loud. But I'm gonna be sexist because that's a common thing out there with these men today. You know, they're always being sexist and shit. So I, I gotta stop that. You know, I, I, I gotta respect the women, bro. You gotta respect the women. If all men were just were to just start respecting women more. I think we might have a better community out here in this- Aw, oh, shit. Better community out here, bros. Ooh, ooh, my, my, my mouse is fucking laggy as yes, hell. Mouse is fucking laggy as yes, hell. My mouse is laggy. Okay, 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 continue what I was saying. Um, uh, um, uh, yeah. And there's so many microaggressions against women, like, dude, us men together have to stop these microaggressions. If, like, like, say you were to pee on the toilet and not clean it up because your girl, your woman, your whammon did something. Dude, you have to clean it up, bro, because these are microaggressions. You have to... Fucking shit! Fucking shit, damn it. Sorry, I'm very into snake, but uh, yeah, these microaggressions, bro, they're getting annoying, dudes. We have to work together to stop it. We can stop microaggressions together. We can honestly, like, shit, how do I say this? Fuck! Okay, I'm gonna get serious about this. Uh, I didn't actually care about women because my, my my motto is actually "bibbidi bobbidi." Women are property. It may sound a little sexist, but do I give a shit? But continuing what I was saying, I was talking about women being microaggressions and shit. Fucking. Okay. So, I'm talking to, to this dude, we're talking about sex, okay, so, we're talking about sex, and he's like, dude, if you were gay, how many men do you think you could get? My answer was, a hundred. He said, I am gay, and I've had 30 men. And I was like, oh shit. I immediately left the room because I hate fucking gays. And, especially because the dude... Mm. Uh, uh, resuming what I was saying uh, Resuming what I was saying I was talking about something But Yeah, okay uh, I don't know what I was talking about Because I paused the recording for like 10 minutes And went to go pee But Okay, so Today's rap has become absolute fucking trash. Like, have you guys heard Gucci Gang by Lil Pump? This is why I hate playing fucking Snake. See, while, while, while I wasn't streaming, while I wasn't recording, I got to 33. I can only get to 5, but I'm fucking recording. Shit. Mm. 
WSD work? Oh, it does. It's actually more responsive with WSD. Did you see that? Play using WSD and it's really fast. Maybe it's because I have more confident confidence with WSD. Why play Fireboy and Water Girl? Dude, I should just speed run games. Dude, that'd be amazing. Just me speed running games. And talking to yourself is really awkward, especially when you're doing YouTube videos. Like, I understand people who tell stories or... Well, commentary with games other than things like Snake or platformers, any of those kind of games, you can, like, talk about kind of cool, cool fucking things. But with playing Snake, it's, like, impossible to talk about anything cool because the game's not fucking cool. But I've talked about Gucci Gang, right? Uh, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. My girl loved to do propane, uh, cocaine, rap, lyrics, mumble, mumble, mumble. Mumble rap's, like, my least favorite type of rap. My favorite would probably be the style of the OG uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. E Easy. He's probably my, one of my more favorite rappers, and I'd say he's pretty good. And I don't know why I'm talking about rap. I don't really listen to rap personally. My I'm more of a uh, Musical theater, theater dude, you know, you know, you know, what I'm talking about you guys. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Right. These are gonna get really boring, and oh, I am recording a YouTube video, like every other person in the world right now. Little known fact. Let's talk about facts. Yeah, that's a cooler topic for me. It's kind of something I could get into. So no, let's talk about facts. Let's talk about. What should we talk about what kind of facts? Should we talk about? Let me see. I'm looking. One second. Give me, a, give me a sec, guys. I have some cool facts. I have some cool facts. Trust me. Not on my phone. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not on my phone right now. I'm trying to remember some facts. Give me a sec, guys. I'll, I'll be right back. Give me a sec. <sighs> Where is it? Uh... Okay, guys, uh, ah, yes, okay, okay, I got you, boys, I got you, boys, I got you. So, we all know uh, of Darwin's theory of evolution, the basic theory of, um, not survival of the fittest, actually, Darwin didn't coin the term survival of the fittest, it was rather a, another scientist, when he re, when Darwin republished the book, he actually included survival of the fittest as one of the terms that he would be, uh, that would be known around the world, and be known as one of the basics of evolution so talking about evolution darwin himself actually went through a lifelong uh sickness throughout his entire life meaning 90 percent of his lifetime he was and he was constantly cold constantly vomiting he had all kinds of things uh oh no oh no I'm, ah shit it's over it's all over guys it's the end of the recording. Uh, I was going to talk a little more about Darwin. There are a lot of long pauses, but I hope you liked it. I actually don't, actually, but it all ends in a few seconds. It all ends in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.